Hey guys, how's it going? Really struggling here to get it to get it off the tree because this here is winter bark. The leaves haven't come out yet, and uh, what's glued on to the tree is that cambium layer, and that's what you're able to make those designs on them. So if you'll see my other videos, I got uh, canoes with with different designs, motives, symbols. Um, you can draw animals, geese things like that. That's that cambium layer taken off. So I'm harvesting this so I can make a nice artistic um, design on it. But it means you really have to work for it because there's no sap to keep the, that bark off away from the tree. So you really 
go in with your your plastic there and get it get that mark to come off. People call it winter bark or spring bark. Once I get this side free, I got room to do the other side. You really got to go slowly, go inch by inch, and go equal along the whole length. Because if I release only the bottom, then try to release it upwards, it'll create a crack, and uh, you want to avoid cracks. So, just keep going up and down an inch at a time.
So this was a big knot there and it reflects on your bark. So this is a big knot there. This was a very big knot with a hole. The knots that are closed back in like this, that are really closed, they're not as bad. But the ones that are still open like that, and then you see here, every place on the tree where there was a little, little uh, knot of some sort, the bark wants to stick there where, when you're trying to peel it off. So that's what makes the hole, the hole inside your bark roll. So reading the tree and choosing the tree before harvesting is very important. The less knots, the better. But uh, sometimes you just got to try the best that you find and uh, trial and error, I guess. You know, not all the areas have the best um, birch bark ever in the world. Here, I can find some, but I got to search quite a bit. But uh, anyways, this won't get lost. I'll, I'll use it for baskets. So still a very good, good day for me. The thing too with the knots, or if the tree has a curve or a bend in it, it makes these kinks. So when you're building a canoe, you don't want any kinks or bumps or holes because it won't be like perfectly symmetrical and on the water it'll be less ideal. But uh, yeah, and also like depending on what type of forest the birch is growing in, like the more it's open, and the more it'll create some branches, but the more dense the forest, the more it'll just have one trunk and then branches at the top. But uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. It's quite fascinating and you need to learn nature. You need to read nature, learn nature, appreciate nature. And uh, I think that's what I like this much. And like, it's so key to have the right timing as well for collecting. Like, you can't collect if it's too cold yet, but then if you wait too long for summer or heat, then you're not able to make uh, those winter bark designs on your baskets, because you don't have that cambium layer on it anymore. So you really gotta read the, the spring and the terrain, and, and I know, you know, it's unfortunate seeing a nice tree go down, but like I said, I'll use the bark for making um, baskets and things and then the tree I'll come back for firewood so using it and uh, making use out of it spend some good time outdoors beautiful day got some sun awesome not fooling around I'm using some straps I can just carry it I can just carry it like this walk with it You know what I was thinking also, back in the day, people when they had bark that wasn't good enough for canoes, you know what they use it for? Making shelters, build uh, wigwams. If I had a bit more land that I could use to build shelters or give out courses, I'd probably build a big teepee cone shape and a wigwam rounded shape cover it with uh, with birch bark like this super waterproof maybe someday be awesome just to sleep in that under bark under a tree <laughs> tree bark to sleep under awesome all right guys I'll let you go hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe if you liked uh, the videos and you know make sure you leave a comment and leave a like to the video helps uh, helps me out helps people discover the videos and uh, this summer I'm planning to build a full-size canoe it'll be 
a 15 footer birch bark canoe and then last year I built a 10 footer birch bark canoe so you can check out those videos as well on the channel all right thank you cheers stay safe what do you guys think this is gross Chicken of the woods. Grouse poop. Yep. Grouse poop.